back like we never left BDA and I've recently caught up to Boku no Hero Academia and I'm loving it right now. I think the thing that I love the most is the fact that all the powers are balanced out and the weaknesses of each power is explained so when something happens it's, it's never really an ass pull because it was explained beforehand and that's what I'm enjoying a lot about the series and I'm enjoying growing up with these characters and it's having that Naruto feel where it's like the tuning exam and it's like all these different new characters are trying to grow and then the elites are kind of separating themselves you have your Naruto your Sasuke you have your, your useless ones that's kind of you know not confident and you have your you, you, the ones that's they, they're kind of split as far as what they want to do you have the ones that probably would be served best as villains and I'm really enjoying that so I'm caught up so I'm going to be reviewing these chapters going forward and this is the most recent chapter um, I believe this chapter is chapter 69 um, um, interview with Midoriya so Right now, what's happening? Tomura Shigaraki, he has apprehended, or he walked up on Midoriya. He's at the mall, Yuraka, and basically, Yuraka, she gets, because they get left alone, um, and she just walks away. So, he walks up on Midoriya, Midoriya thinks he's a fan, so he just grabs him by his neck. You know, his power was explained where if, if he puts all five fingers on your neck, your skin disintegrates from within, and then you die in a few seconds. So, he said, if you move, I'll add this last finger, and then and that's done. All I want to do is have a conversation. So pretty much all he's asking him is basically Hero Stain has been the talk of the town even though my Nomus were released and they kind of did more than Hero Stain but why is he getting all the, the, the recognition? Why, why is everybody talking about him? And Midoriya just basically said that um, um, he, I understand Hero Stain but I don't understand you because um, Tamura Shigaraki basically he's like a child where it's like when things doesn't go his way or when he doesn't get the recognition that he feels like he deserves he's stumped he, he's wondering what's going on so he's like I, I, I don't get this why is everybody talking about this guy when we, we kind of have the same ideals but that's that's not the case Midoriya explains that I understand his ideals I understand him I don't understand you I, well, like, I don't understand why you're doing all this him it's like I, under, I don't agree with him, but I understand why he's doing it. Like, at least he saved me, and he has conviction behind what he's doing. He he has an ideal where you're just doing it just to do it. It's like you're like a mindless zombie. It's like your child just doing things, doing things for your satisfaction when this guy has a conviction. And basically with us, Midoriya and uh, Hero Stain, it all started with All Might. So then Tumuru basically said, oh, I'm connecting the dots now. So... All Might is the, the the central focus here, and then you saw that creepy ass smile that he gave, and now his new ideal and focus is to basically create a world without All Might, because right now everything is centered around All Might, because he's the symbol of peace. He's kind of the deterrent for the villains, and he's kind of the the, the, the symbol for the heroes. So he wants to remove that symbol and that that's his new goal and you know they're still there and Yuraka she comes up and she's like oh my god like well, why is he doing that and the guy um Tomura basically said all right oh, I didn't know you came with someone and he just walks away puts his hand in his pocket and he's like you know what happens if you follow me but then Midoriya asks him like all for one like what, what is he planning he's like don't know but then he he really he reiterates that he will have a new motivation and that's to create a world without All Might and basically All Might is in trouble because he was kinda at you know on his last leg, not on his last leg, but he was kinda pushed back um, pushed to the brink by Nomu and, and um, Tamura when they fought that last time and they, he had to get saved by Midoriya and Todoroki but the thing is he's not even close to 100% because his powers are consistently draining the time he can do it is getting shorter he's not as fast as he used to be not as powerful so All Might is definitely getting weaker and I think they're starting to notice but right now I'm really enjoying Boku no Hero Academia I mean let me know what you think do you think Tamura is just a mindless child where it's like he's not getting his own way he doesn't know how to act and are you a fan of Hero Stain because of how uh, how his conviction is and how he feels about these things? But yeah, let me know what you think. I'm really interested to see how you guys feel about this series because I mean I'm just loving it right now, man. I really am. So again, uh, let me know what you think. Like the video if you did. Subscribe as well. That would be dope. And have a good day, people.